Well, good morning. Uh, this morning's a little bit different than it was a couple of uh, mornings ago. Today I woke up with sunshine and the chirping birds. Uh, the other day I woke up and uh, it was with the thunderclaps as the storm rolled in and I saw the flash of lightning. But that morning as I sat on my porch and this morning as I stepped outside to the beautiful sunshine, both mornings remind me of the beautiful God, the majesty of nature, uh, God in all of his awesome power. You see, God is the first cause, the uncaused cause, who has been, is, and always will be from eternity to eternity. And this is the God in his magnificent power, in his merciful presence, who extends an invitation to us to come to him. And I think that's important, especially as we're uh, working our way through this pandemic because there's a lot of people that feel like they've been put in the blender of life and everything's all mixed up. Many of you have been working so hard and looking forward to your pomp and circumstance of a high school or a college graduation and this pandemic has robbed you of that. Others are getting ready to go into a senior year and you're wondering about the uncertainty of college applications and uh, what your major in college will be. Others are struggling with life issues, some facing the loss of a loved one, others with the trials of uh, poor health. But whatever your need might be, I want you to remember that Jesus invites you to come to him. Listen to this passage out of Matthew's gospel. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I'm gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If you're feeling disappointed today or depressed, if you're facing the, the future with worries and anxiety, I want you to remember that Jesus says, come to me. And I hope you'll do that and you'll find a peace that passes all understanding. God bless you.